This Shabbat we read the Torah reading Bamidbar, the first portion in the fourth book of the Torah. And then on Saturday night, we begin to observe the holiday of Shavuot, the holiday in which we commemorate the giving of the Ten Commandments and, by extension, the entire Torah to the community of Israel at Mount Sinai over 3,000 years ago. And so the portion Bamidbar and the holiday of Shavuot provide for us a beautiful lesson as they arrive in juxtaposition like that. In the portion Bamidbar, we learn, among other things, about how the Israelites were encamped around the Mishkan, the portable sanctuary. The portion provides us with a detailed map of how each quadrant was populated by which tribes, and then each tribe had its banner that it raised proudly, and within each tribe, each family had its banner that it raised proudly as well. So, in other words, there is this sense of individuality within the entire community as they were encamped around Sinai. And yet, at the same time, as we read on the holiday of Shavuot, the portion from the book of Exodus, which describes the giving of the Ten Commandments, we're told that the community of Israel was camped at the foot of Mount Sinai. And that word for camped is in the singular. Even though they were a plurality, we would imagine the Hebrew language would reflect the community and the plural. Yet it's, we're told in the portion, Vayichan, as if it meant he was camped at the foot of the mountain. And so the community was one person as if encamped at Mount Sinai. They were all one as they were about to receive the Torah. So what is it? What does the Torah want to teach us? The sense of individuality with raising your own banner proudly? Or is it be part of the entire community. And I think the lesson is that as we accept the Torah, as we understand that life is best lived in community, the community is best served by each individual's contribution to the community at large. We don't give up of ourselves for the community, but we contribute to the community with our own individuality to make the community stronger. Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach.